Welcome to the Startable Vlog, the place where everyone can be an entrepreneur. I'm Nicole Dickens, the founder of Zoetica, where we help people start, launch, and scale their ideas for greatest impact. The Startable community is about igniting the entrepreneurial spirit by creating opportunities for those at the early stages of entrepreneurship to discover, then launch their ideas into the world, and it will forever be free to join. So, we're moving along in our series on what it takes to find solutions to those problems that are all around us, the true work of an entrepreneur. The key to successful entrepreneurship is to provide solutions, be they for or not for profits, with the highest degree of efficiency and effectiveness in the doing. We've been breaking down the process of becoming solution providers into doable tasks. Again, something that entrepreneurs excel by first getting comfortable looking at a whole lot of ugly, those problems, then getting hopeful that every problem has at least one solution, more likely multiple solutions. And we've discussed ways to get active in searching out multiple ways of solving those problems around us. This entry is about encouraging you to get curious about ways to put those potential solutions into action. So all of the ugly hugging you've been do doing, you've been enduring, if you've been following along in this series, has resulted in some ideas of ways to solve for that ugly. I've no doubt you've come up with some ways, but a solution isn't really one unless you try it out. Yes, I'm talking about prototyping or piloting that idea. Fancy ways of saying kicking the tires or simply trying it out. This doesn't have to become some huge deal just yet. It could be and often starts out as just having a few conversations with pen and paper around the idea of yours, that solution to the problem on which you've decided to focus to initially test it out. Your prototype could simply be a few drawings or a Google Slides presentation, really. If it's a product, it can be made from inexpensive, ready, readily available materials just to see if the mechanics of it works. My point is that it doesn't have to be some huge upfront investment of money at first, but maybe a little bit of investment in time and mind share for sure. And in the doing, you begin thinking about ways to scale it quickly. Why fast? So you can find out what's not working earlier. You can adjust more quickly. You can keep momentum with your audience, community, or user base as you perfect and grow it. The word I'm going for here is agile. Your curiosity around how to implement your ideas, your solutions should spark an agility that will let you know sooner rather than later whether or not you are actually on to something. So get curious about ways to quickly implement those ideas of yours that will solve some problem hanging about your community. You want to cultivate your prototype in an agile environment that will help you quickly determine if you've got something of value to people. You want to know what it will take to actually launch something live and even what it will take to scale it to have the kind of impact really great ideas deserve to have. Draw it, write it, build it out of popsicle sticks, but get something into the hands of potential users to start building towards a viable solution. It can truly be as simple as that. We here at Startable have developed a course to help you in this process called the Startup Bootcamp. Check it out and get started today. So go on, get curious about ways of implementing those solutions you've been mulling over with this series. I dare you. See you next time.